We begin with breaking news on this first alert weather day. Berthet Pass is shut down because of an avalanche which trapped several cars. The avalanche threat for Berthet Pass, like much of Colorado, has been high this weekend as the high country deals with heavy snowfall and powerful winds. Jasmine Aranis is on top of our breaking news for us tonight. And Jasmine, you just got off the phone with CDOT not long ago. Yes, Kelly, and the good news is no one was hurt, according to CDOT, and everyone was able to get out okay. But now avalanche mitigation efforts have begun. According to CDOT, at least 10 cars were caught in the avalanche along Berthet Pass this morning. Go ahead and look at this new video from Grand County. It shows a deputy riding over Berthet Pass completely covered in snow. First alert meteorologist Ashton Alturi says Berthet Pass could see another 10 to 20 inches of snow with winds up to 60 miles per hour. CDOT will be conducting avalanche mitigation throughout the state through Tuesday. We go in where the avalanche danger is high and we have known slide paths that that um, can hit the highway and we close the highway to any traffic. Our crews go in there and they trigger the avalanches. They clear any snow that comes down onto the highway and then we can safely open up the highway again to travelers. Now, if the worst were to happen and you became trapped in an avalanche on the road, here's what you need to know. Stay in your car. There could be another slide and being outside your car puts you in danger. Turn off your engine to avoid the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning and try to report the avalanche from inside your car. Now, anyone who travels through the high country is also advised to always keep emergency supplies in their car. That includes water, snacks, extra clothes and blankets. Officials have not confirmed when the road will reopen, but warn travelers to stay alert through CDOT's Code Trips app or CodeTrips.org. The avalanche danger is high through Tuesday, Kelly. All right, Jasmine, thank you.